In this video, I'm going to show you how to use JB Weld to fix and seal the cracked cast aluminum cap on this Develvis Cam Air QC3 air filter and dryer kit. The left side has a larger threaded port, leaving the metal much thinner at the top of the cap. I tried to weld it. I barely gave it any pressure and it just cracked again. So now I'm prepping it for the JB Weld. I'm starting out by roughing it up with a wire wheel to help repair the surface. Next, I'm using a little grinder to get the most important areas a little more scuffed up to ensure a good bond. After that, it needs to be cleaned from all dirt, grease, and debris. Most people use acetone, rubbing alcohol, or brake cleaner. My biggest concern is this crack would continue to walk, so I'm going to drill a little hole at the end of it to stop it. After a little bit more drilling, this looks perfect. This little hole should easily stop the crack from going any further. Now it's time for the JV weld. First, I'm going to squeeze out equal amounts from each of the tubes into the package that it came in. After that, they get mixed together until everything's the same color and consistency. Once it's fully mixed, we're going to start applying it to the top of the crack. I'm basically just slowly building it up over the crack and around it, trying to get enough coverage over it and then smoothing it out to give it a nice transition to the cap. It turned out pretty nice, but before testing it out, it takes about four to six hours to set and around 15 to 24 hours to cure. Now that it's cured, we can test it out. The air compressor is pressurized at 150 PSI. And it sounds like it's holding. Wait, there's bubbles. I can just JB weld this closed nipple to the cap and completely seal it. Now we have to reprep the surface, basically doing the same thing as we did before. Cleaning up all the debris and contaminants off the metal. You want to get everything out of there and clean it up the best you possibly can. Surface preparation really is the most important part of the job. Once it's cleaned, it has to be re-wiped down to ensure sufficient bonding to the surface. Now back to the JB Weld, repeating the same exact process again, mixing it all together, getting it to the same color and consistency, then reapplying and shaping it the best we can, going over it until you get it exactly how you want it. Then try to clean it up and make it look the best you can, trying to smooth it all out and make the transitions nice and clean. Bam! That looks good. That should definitely do the job and seal everything up. Now that it's finally cured, let's pressurize it and test it out. Nice, no bubbles, no leaks. This is fully sealed, we're good to go. And that's how you can fix and reseal a cast aluminum cap in a pneumatic air system with JB Weld.